So, today I'm in Kigali, Rwanda. I'm on a cooking class and uh, to teach me how to make uh, Rwandan food. And right now I am doing this uh, grating of tomato. And uh, so far so good, I must say. Maybe a little bit too slow for you. <laughs> Before this I have uh, chopped some onions and uh, paisley and uh, I have done some uh, peeling of the plantain to make this wonderful Rwanda dish. And uh, let's see how it goes. I'm excited about the, the food of this Rwandan dish. I have made some uh, chopping of the dodo and now it's here and we are boiling it in this uh, wonderful charcoal stove here. And it's one stove for separate dish. Okay. And this one is the, uh, the plantain dish, the first dish that I made. It's a plantain and tomato sauce with a red onion and a paisley. This is the dodo we made uh, earlier and it has been boiling for uh, I think it's 20 minutes now and it looks like this. And, uh, now I am uh, being told to mash it. It looks like uh, spinach in uh, in, in the color and in the, in the texture. Mm -hmm. and, uh, let's see if it tastes like spinach also. <laughs> and look at what I have done also. Mash, uh, chopping up the tomato, paisley and uh, pepper. So I'm going to chopping there. And, uh, the atmosphere here is uh, it's very, very nice. This is the plantain that we made. And you just put the oil there. And salt. Oil and salt. Put in there. Yeah. It's yummy. Look how it is. Garlic and salt. Okay. We're going to fry some potatoes here. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for all the food here to be finished. And it's going to be very exciting to, to see what it tastes like. So, my name is Kevin, uh, I'm from Thailand, and, uh, but I live in Sweden. And uh, I am participating in this cooking class uh, with this uh, wonderful chef. And uh, what we have made here during the class are, are these wonderful dishes. So uh, that's that's it. Uh, enjoy. Maybe when you work, next time. Yeah. 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 so this is the first try of the, the food I've made. Rwandan food. How is it? Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yes, made from the beginning, from the scratch. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to try this this uh, dodo. Mm. With the peanut fl fl flour. Very good. I can recommend this for your cooking class, really. Thank you. I'm in Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda. And uh, today I'm at uh, Question Coffee to join a master class coffee and uh, in this class I will get to learn more about uh, the coffee making process in Rwanda and I hope it will be a very educational day and uh, since I love coffee it will be I look really look forward to to this master class of coffee these are the baby trees, trees yeah. baby trees of the coffee mm. 
So this tree will give like a 15 kilos of, yeah, of beans. Time. This is the bracelet uh, that the, the women use to compare the color with the, 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 the cherries. So if it's uh, this, this color, then it's okay to pick because it's ripe. Yeah. It's a very creative way of uh, doing Picking it. Yes. We have five different uh, coffee types. Neon Pinga from the south, Mayogi from the north, and took from the east and all three are the washed ones and then we have a took honey which is a semi-washed and that means it's only uh, peeled from the skin and then we have a ABK natural which is the, the north one and this is the form that we are using to uh, to uh, to grade the different kinds of coffee if we feel a uh, fragrance of uh, earth, floral, etc. And uh, later we will come to the flavor, aftertaste, acidity and the mouthfeel. It's not that easy, I would say, <laughs> if you're not used to it. You're breaking the, the coffee, the surface, to feel the aroma and to detect if there's any difference from the, the previous uh, testing, where you only smell the fragrance. If there's any added uh, aroma flavor that you didn't detect in the previous run. Okay, so now we have come to, to rate our perception of the flavor. And uh, the trick to do this is to take a spoon, take a little bit of coffee and do it really quickly inside, uh, to get it inside your mouth. And that is because you want it to, to, have, a, to have the coffee inside your mouth in all the sense that uh, on the tongue uh, as, as undamaged, or what you say, as, as much as possible. So all the senses that you have in your tongue, the taste senses, uh, will feel it at the same time. And at the same time you do the, the flavor taste, you can also rate the aftertaste and the acidity of the coffee. So uh, one of the last elements in this class is to make your own blend of coffee. And uh, what you do is you, you select uh, a few of the blend, uh, the, uh, I mean the few of uh, the sort you want to have in your blend and mix it together. And maybe two parts of Nia Pinga, one part of Mayogi and one part of Tak. And then you have a blend here and then you can have a taste to see if you like it. It's really nice, I think. So then my, my favorite blend would be two parts of Nia Pinga, one Mayogi and one Tak. And that's how you make your own coffee blend here. So thank you for today and uh, before I came to this masterclass today I have only been to a uh, coffee plantation tour so that's why I was attracted to do this uh, coffee tasting, a cupping class. And uh, thank you for this souvenir, this is my uh, favorite uh, coffee type of today, tuck honey. I will uh, drink it and think about uh, the day uh, today the class that we have and every time I drink my coffee now I will think about the flavors and the aroma and everything I've taught today. Thank you, question coffee. So you have uh, 72 different flavors here. Yeah. Aromas in coffee, so mm. there's some number or on aromas. each cup yeah. or bottle is the answer. So number one would be earth. Mm -hmm. Rustic aroma. What is this one? Our teacher here in the master class will now demonstrate uh, how we do the sip. Again, please. That's a real sip from a master taster. <laughs> Thank you.